Hey, I'm Scott Hetrick with Hollywood and High Def .com. We were just walking down the street here in San Diego, saw this little gathering of about 150,000 people at something called Comic Con. Let's check it out. Let's go inside and see what the experience is all about. Okay, here we are inside at the Sony Blu-ray Experience. We're seeing the first peaks at Spider-Man 3 in Blu-ray. Hasn't even been announced yet, but it'll be coming on Blu-ray. We're also seeing the first peak at uh, Steven Spielberg's first movie in high-def disc on Blu-ray. Sony's Close Encounters of the Third Kind, as well as Ray Harryhausen's 20 Million Miles to Earth, black and white, and the colorized version. And earlier at the booth right here, Eli Roth was signing autographs. And shortly after that, we met with Eli and talked to him about his director's cuts of Hostel and Hostel 2, both in Blu-ray. Let's listen and see what he said. So, first of all, what is your takeaway uh, Comic-Con experience today? Uh, okay, I had some great, great experiences already. One, I had a girl come up to me and say, I'm a huge fan of yours. You've got to come to my party tonight. It's for the release of my movie. I'm a tremendous fan. It's great. It's great. And I'm really looking forward to when Hostel 2 comes out in theaters. And I was like, she watched me. I was like, came out two months ago. Yeah. Uh, never mind. And then uh, I had two kids that were kind of like Beavis and Butthead. And I was like, do you guys want me to sign it? And they're like, oh, cool, cool. So that was, was it so good, far. Was it was awesome. Experience. So we're here to talk about Blu-ray. Yeah. And um, your two films, or your Hostel and Hostel 2, are both coming out on yeah. Blu-ray in October. So uh, what do you know about the Blu-ray version of your movies? Are you involved with them? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm from the first generation of Laserdisc fans. So I have the, you know, 27-sided version of Brazil that you get up and flip every 15 minutes. So, <laughs> right. And the Alien box set with 17,000 frames that I will still go through CAV frame by frame. CAV I'm by really, frame. really into that. Okay. So whenever... I'm making my film right from the pre-production stage. I'm always thinking about the DVD and the things that we can do. And as soon as my sets are designed, I'll send the designs and photographs of the set so they can start thinking of stuff for online and for the website and for an online game and for the DVD. And in Hostel Part 2, there are these guys that are sitting at the, the hall of these kind of guard monitors and they're watching all, you see all these with glimpses of different rooms, what's going on in the factory. And we film torture scenes for every single one of those rooms. Then my brother, who directed second unit, shot. So I would shoot all during the day until about 9 o'clock at 9.30 at night. And then my brother would come in and shoot all night. And then I'd come back in at 6 in the morning. And each night, he'd shoot a different scene. And we said, this is going to be perfect. And that's something that's available exclusively on the Blu-ray DVD. Awesome. That you will have the POV of one of the monitor guards. And you'll be able to watch those full torture scenes. For me, what I like about Blu-ray is that it, it really gives you that for me, I watch it and I feel like I'm watching the movie in a theater. And when you watch it on a big television and you hear it with that sound, it really gives you that sensation and experience of being in a movie theater. Right. And you have it in your own home. And as a kid, all I ever dreamed of was having my own movie theater in my house. And finally, with the Blu-ray player, you get that feeling. Right. It was the first time I ever really said, this is what it must feel like to have a movie theater in your house. Oh.